Welcome to FX Options University, recorded live at the International Securities Exchange, the world's largest equity options exchange. Join the industry's top trading professionals as they provide insight and strategies for trading in the currency markets using FX options. FX options are a low-risk alternative to hedging currency moves in any market condition. Welcome, everyone. This is Steve Meisinger, your host for today's IAC webinar. I'm really pleased that we have John Person with us. John will be talking about spotting high probability trading opportunities for FX options. And John has written many books. Uh, he has a tremendous website, nationalfutures.com. He publishes his, his pivot points, so you can always check those out, among other great things. So please go to nationalfutures.com to learn more about what John Person has to offer. Uh, one other thing before we get started, please, you should re really read the characteristics and risks of standardized options. Uh, you can get it at optionseducation.org. You can call them 1-888-OPTIONS. Uh, it's really important that you understand the risks and the rewards of options, understand uh, what it means for uh, strike price, option premiums, all the different strategies that are involved. And you can get all of that at uh, optionseducation.org, or you can call 1-888-OPTIONS. Please do that as soon as you can. Without further ado, I want to introduce John Person. John, hey, thank you so much for joining us. Well, thank you for your kind introduction, and thank you for having me, Steve. And the IEC does a phenomenal job, no doubt about it, in execution. And I'm sure if anyone is out there and you have uh, clients trading, you'll find that you get a lot of uh, fills of various products in stock and stock option through the ISE's execution and exchange. The uh, presentation today is, is really an interesting timing of event. I mean, I know I have done many and had a lot of invitations to contribute my work with the ISE, but today is something kind of really special, and the reason is because we're coming close to the end of the quarter, and we've had quite an interesting year so far, year to date, and, you know, just in the last three and a half weeks, um, you know, it was right around August 26th that the end of the world was coming, right, everybody? I mean, we were going for a double-dip recession. S&Ps are trading at 1037. Um, you know, the dollar was a little bit stronger. Uh, you know, everything was, in just four weeks, everything has been topsy-turvy. And what is now kind of interesting is that you're starting to hear that everyone is now bearish. Um, you know, the dollar, and we see the Aussie, uh, the Australian dollar rally to making new highs. We see gold breaking out to new all-time highs, 1310 today. And, um, you know, everyone's making a big issue about this. Today we had a really wild range in gold. If anyone wasn't watching overnight session, we saw gold trade as low as 12.75 and then pop back up in the day session to 13.10. So we saw a $35 range today in gold, which is something we haven't seen in a while. Um, there's a lot going on in the market, and it seems that everyone's starting to now uh, feel compelled that they need to get bullish in equities. And I think that one of the things that's how this relates into the currency game is we see a lot of intermarket analysis interacting with each other. And what I want to present today is how we can take advantage of some situations that are developing. And for me, at least, uh, as I was going through my notes and looking at some things, I was looking, and we're going to talk about the euro currency today, because the euro currency is actually coming across, as of tonight's close, a traditional peak from a seasonal perspective in the uh, almost 11-year history of the euro currency, we have a seasonal tendency for a short-term interim top to occur on or about today, tonight. And, and what's interesting about that is that when you have a, a seasonal event where you see the euro currency peaks, um, it would help if it's going to peak that it would be rallying. And so you need kind of like the, the pieces to fall into place. And you know what, folks? The euro currency had a sharp rally today towards the close and, and all day. So what, what we might see is a potential reversal, and I think that's where we can start to develop how to take advantage of certain opportunities in the market. Now, the first thing that I want to discuss is this. A, anytime you use seasonal analysis, it's not 100% 
We could be uh, one year could be a week early, one year could be a week late. We take seasonal analysis, and then what it does is it gives us the average date. So the average peak date is today. What's intriguing is if we can look at further studies like and borrow information from the Commodity Futures Trading Commission and we look at the Euro currency futures data, we would find that we are looking at small speculators and professional hedge fund traders, the non-commercial categories, are actually a little biased to the long side. So there are speculators in the long side of this market right now. So that tells me that there's potential room for short-term correction either by looking for those who are long from a speculative standpoint to take profits in the market, or for those who may have joined the party too late, which is what, unfortunately, a lot of novice traders, by the time they gather the courage to chase the market, it's their greed that enacts them to finally get in and, and say, okay, I'm finally in. And maybe they get a little bit of win in the game, or they got some you know, positive P&L going, and they feel very con con you know, highly confident in that position. And so today what we're going to do is look at why and how we can uh, set ourselves up for an opportunity and then look at different option strategies to maybe take advantage of the three types of what I call scenarios, or at least what I show people that can happen. I mean, after all, if a market from a seasonal perspective shows that it could go um, down in value, and with the ISE's Euro currency index, it, it's a, a mirrored or it's an inverse relationship. When the Euro currency, spot Euro currency, goes up in value, the Euro currency, the EUI, goes down in value. And the opposite occurs. When the Euro currency spot, if you look at spot or futures, when the Euro currency price goes down in value, the Euro currency index goes up in value, and that's what we want to take a look at. If we're looking for a spot market euro currency reversal as of today to occur, then we want to look at bullish strategies using the ISE's euro index. So that's what I have in store for us today. Now, when I look at employing a position, the first rule of thumb is this. A, I want to know how much risk capital I'm going to put to work for me then I'm going to start to look at different opportunities. I might not go all in in just one strategy. I like to diversify a bit. So perhaps I'll mix it up. And one of the things that uh, we've done in the past and, and, and other, I think, uh, people may have uh, employed is that instead of going with a directional uh, strategy, maybe mix it up a bit in, in multiple directional strategies, like a debit um, put spread on the IEU, or, or EUI, excuse me, the Euro Index. Um, so if we're bullish, we would look at maybe a credit put spread. And if the market sort of rallies but doesn't fall any further, doesn't really gain any momentum, just kind of stalls here, the seasonal aspects would look as if we were right, but the actual real reaction of the market, we didn't see a lot of market movement. So in that case, a... Uh, at least a slightly bullish strategy, maybe a portion of what I'm going to apply to the market, diversify and use in maybe a uh, credit put spread. And then if I would like, I think I, I would probably look at, at towards some longer term out of the money call options for some highly leveraged rate of return just in case we get a massive quick reversal. Uh, many of you may have heard the news about last week's Japanese yen with the Japanese government intervention, and we saw a very swift, formidable move in the euro currency, and obviously being positioned in outright uh, options and an outright directional play like a long call or long put would have been the most profitable and highly leveraged vehicle there is to use. But the, the, the chances are to actually time it exactly right and to be in the right strike price sometimes is a darn near impossible venture. Thank you for participating in this week's session. Please join us again next week. Get trading ideas, exchange rates, webinars, news, and commentary. Visit www.fxoptions.com. ISE FX Options can be easily traded through all options-enabled brokerage accounts. These exchange-listed securities are cash-settled in U.S. dollars and have a European-style exercise.